welcome to another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Sefi West, wishing you life and direct from the heart of Africa. If this is your first time on this channel, you are welcome. This is the place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, uh, I'm going to be talking about the pentagram, the origin of the pentagram and the difference between the regular pentagram and the inverted pentagram and uh, its uses and applications or its symbolism in uh, African spirituality. This uh, symbol is a very, very controversial symbol that uh, is found in every spiritual system in the world. The pentagram, as we know it, currently has been associated as a symbol of evil, as a symbol of darkness, a symbol of chaos, of the demonic. So when people see the pentagram now, they think of it as an evil symbol, just like the way people look at the swastika right now. Originally, the pentagram, if we can trace the origin, it's a very, very ancient symbol. And uh, the earliest version of the pentagram have been traced to ancient Egypt. I think uh, according to Egyptologists, so-called Western Egypt Egyptologists, they saw pentagrams on verses and uh, uh, reliefs dating 3,100 BCE in ancient Egypt. They also have discovered pentagram symbols in uh, ancient Samaria and uh, ancient uh, Japanese culture, Chinese culture, and other places around the world. So the pentagram is not something that is relatively new. It has been very, very present in the affairs of humanity for thousands of years. So we use the pentagram in African spirituality. And uh, what it basically symbolizes is that uh, it symbolizes the union of the physical and spiritual world. So that it was a taste, basically. It is uh, also called the five-pointed stars. What the pentagram is basically symbolizing is the five elements of nature. That's why it has the five uh, stars. The five elements are representing air, water, fire, heat, and of course, spirit, heta. So, every uh, physical matter on this head is composed of one or more of these elements. So, in magic or in spiritual practices, for any spiritual practice, any form of spell or rites to be perfected or to be done, the five elements need to be present and they need to be in agreement. So that is why this symbol is very, very important. In the ancient time, the symbol was drawn as a symbol to ward off evil, to chase out evil spirits to fight against evil so anywhere you see the pentagram it is uh, uh, used to show or to broadcast or to chase out evil entities and to draw in uh, pure entities to manifest your will upon this physical world so the pentagram is not originally a symbol of evil it has never been a symbol of evil but due to the advent of religion, especially the Catholic Church, they have to destroy every aspect of spirituality that we empower people. So they are the ones that change this pentagram to a symbol of the devil. Before then, the pentagram has always been a symbol for good, for positivity, for manifestation. And it is still that symbol. So in spirituality, what uh, you need to know is that we still use the pentagram as a basis for manifestation because it symbolizes the presence of the 
five elements of nature. So you need to know how to use the pentagram if you really want to use it, or you simply need to know the symbolism for the pentagram. Why you need to know this is that uh, it is the basic fundamental principle for all magical acts in the world, in magic, any form of spirituality you are practicing, you must see the five elements inside. We have this uh, in us as human beings. We humans are com composed of these five elements. We are liquid, we are solid, we have fire in us. We also take in air and uh, we, of course, have our spirits. That is why when we pray or when we will things or when we wish things to happen, they come to reality because we are a living embodiment of these five elements. And uh, a simple, powerful uh, base that have these five elements is your candle. Your candle is uh, a composition of the four elements of nature. When you look at a candle, it's uh, a simple representation of that. The wax is the liquid, the base is the solid representing it. Then the fire, of course, is the element of fire. Then the smoke coming out of the candle is the hair. So the candle have always been used in spirituality all over the world because it represents these four elements. Then when you begin to focus on the candle and say your prayers, your intentions, or to just simply meditate with it, you are now applying the fifth elements to the whole process. So, with just a simple candle, you can perform magic. And people have been using this to do magic for thousands of years. So, the candle still remains the most simplest um, symbolism of the pentagram because it contains the four elements, and you, as the operator, makes it complete. So, we always use candle for all spiritual practice. In African spirituality, some people draw the pentagram, some don't draw it. What you need to know is what it represents and uh, focus on that and you will get your manifestation. So the candle is a very, very powerful symbolism of these uh, five elements and it is used in every spiritual system of the world. But many people don't know this. So you need to know it and I believe now that you know what the candle represents. So there's no difference between lighting a candle and uh, drawing a pentagram. There's no difference, they are the same thing. Even you as a human being, focusing and using your imagination to project or visualize your future or visualize uh, the positive outcome of an, of an event, it's also you as a living pentagram. Now we have two type of pentagram. We have the regular pentagram and the uh, inverted pentagram. The regular pentagram, of course, have been adopted by people of the right hand path practice. According to the uh, description, they believe that when you draw a regular pentagram, you are manifesting will, your wishes or your will from this physical world into divinity. Like you are saying a petition, you are pushing it to the divinity to ask the divinity or God to bring that manifestation to physical uh, manifestation. So the regular pentagram is pushing your will upwards into the spirit world. Why the inverted pentagram on the other hand believe that matter the physical world must take precedence over the spiritual world. So when you are using the inverted pentagram, you are actually manifesting from the spirit into the physical world. So the left hand path practitioners usually use the inverted pentagram because they believe that uh, it makes much more sense to them that we live in this physical world and uh, we are supposed to exert our will on this physical world. We don't need to 
take permission from divinity or anybody to manifest our will we have to actually draw it by our power by our intention and uh, manifest whatever we want to manifest into this physical world so one of them is trying to send to ask petition the divinity to bring their will to make it possible why the other is pushing their own will from this physical world into divinity so divinity have no option than to accept so that is the way both of them look at it whatever way you look at it it is still the same thing you are trying to do whether you are asking somebody for permission or you are doing it without asking for permission both of you are doing the same thing but human being once again uh, like to separate things from each other so most of the mainstream western occultism satanic organizations luciferianism they have adopted the inverted pentagram and uh, sometimes you see them use a head of a goat for a ram to symbolize this uh, uh, symbol that they are not in line with divinity that they are separate from divinity so that is for uh, their own symbol then the right hand part practitioners have choose to remain with the original pentagram symbol so this is what uh, is the main difference between the regular pentagram and the inverted pentagram it is uh, a difference of philosophy of magic of view of world view so in my own opinion there is both of them are doing the same thing anytime you are doing any form of spell any form of magical practice any form of spiritual practice you are actually trying to change some things in nature to bring your will to manifestation so what you are doing is the same in my own book there is no black magic there is no white magic there is gray magic what we have is that uh, when you are doing painful magic it is black we are trying to heal or help people it is white and uh, i believe every spiritual practitioner have uh, the same uh, doing the same thing every spiritual practitioner in the world you make decisions every day to affect the life of other people so uh, this is what happens in the world of spirituality so there's no white or black there's just you and you making decisions by yourself but if you prefer dealing in labors uh, you will choose to stand by one side or the other side so there's really no much dichotomy between the uh, right hand part and the left hand part both of them do the same thing okay people believe that black magic is evil according to western divination that uh, when you change destiny or cause of something you are actually doing evil white magic do the same thing all magic is the same okay so there is no white or black what we have is gray so that is the difference between both uh, pentagram okay why well, i'm doing this video because i'm going to do another video in the future on how to make a powerful manifestation base so you need to know the difference between the uh, both pentagrams and how to create your own manifestation base that will incorporate these five elements that you can use to talk to deities and use to make contact with your ancestors so that is why i'm doing this video today so um, this is what i have for you today questions or comments are welcome like and share this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and uh, bye have a great day and bye.